Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today's lesson is going to be about 5.2 proportions. So we're just going to make sure we understand how to write a proportion and to figure out if things are proportional. Today in your notes, you're going to be looking for eight things to write down, so let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to write down is the definition of a proportion. You are going to pause this portion of the video and write once I'm done, cop once I'm done uh, wording it. Um, it just says a proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. That's the same thing as equivalent fractions. Um, and then whenever you have something that is proportions or that are showing that they're proportions, you would just say that they are proportional. Okay. So let's go ahead and take time not to pause the video, write down the definition of it, even, even write this um, example down, and then we're going to try some questions. Alright, so this one says, tell whether 6 fourths and 8 twelfths form a proportion. Remember, on the previous slide, proportions are equivalent fractions. So what you could do here is maybe simplify to see if they are proportional. So 6 over 4 can be reduced to 3 over 2. And 8 over 12 can be reduced to 4, sorry, 3 over 4. Okay, all I did was divided 6 by 2, 4 by 2, got 3 over 2. And I divided 8 by 4, and that's just kidding. 8 by 4, yeah, is 2. 12 by 4 is 3. Sorry, guys. Um, even though they simplify to be the same numbers, they are not identical fractions, so these are not proportional. You would just answer no. A lot of your homework questions and answers are going to be a yes or no question, too. Um, another way you can see that, see it is looking at a table, and in this table particularly, notice you have an X, which is an input, and a Y, which is an output. Um, one thing I like to focus on, since um, my brain doesn't automatically tell me what to do with fractions is I do like to focus on the whole numbers. I know 1 times 6 gives me 6, and I know 2 times 6 gives me 12. So if the rest of them are times 6, then that means they would be proportional. Okay, so this would be multiplying by the same number. If you can multiply by the same number in everything, that means if it's proportional. 1 half times 6 over 1 is equal to 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. And 3 halves times 6 over 1, that is 18 over 2, which is equal to 9. So, yes, all of these have been multiplied by 6. So I would say yes, because they have been multiplied by the same number. Okay. What you're going to do here is pause the video and try questions 2 through 5 you're going to be answering either yes it's proportional or no it is not. So once again, you can simplify them to see if they're the same fraction or multiply by same number. Go ahead and take time now to pause it. Click play when you're ready to check. Alright, so number two I looked at and I saw that both of these simplify to one half. Since 1 half is equal to 1 half, number 2 is yes, proportional. With number 3, I noticed I could also simplify, reduce two, um, 4 six to 2 thirds. And then 18 and 24 have 6 in common. So I divided those by 6, I got 3 fourths. Those are not the same thing, so this would be a no for number 3. Okay. Um, number 4, I can't reduce anything here. I did see how um, 10 was being divided by 2 to get 5, but 3 divided by 2 is not 6, so these are actually no proportional. Um, maybe we can go back over and say multiply or divide by the same number, because basically you're just undoing multiplication. If you needed to, though, you could say 5 6 and 10 thirds. 5 times 2 is 10, but 6 times 2 is not 3. Okay, so number 4 is no. And then number five, again, I can simplify to see if that's going to give me the um, same, same fraction. 25 divided by 5 was 5 over 4. And then these two guys can be reduced by 3. That's also going to give me 5 over 4. Since they're equal, I'm going to say yes. Okay, how'd you do? Um, here's another one. You're going to go ahead and try this one on your own. This is in a table. So go ahead and pause the video see if x and y are proportional, and then maybe also be able to tell me how do you know. 
Okay, pause it, try it, click play when ready to check. All right, so it looks like um, I have many different options here. I can see that this X is the input and Y is the output. Notice how 1 gets to 12. It's multiplying by 12. So that means everything else should be multiplying by 12. And it is. 2 times 12 is 24. 4 times 12 is 48. 6 times 12 is 72. So you can say yes because you multiply by 12 all throughout. Another way you could do it is you could write two of them as fractions. 1 12th, like here, and 2 24ths, here. These both can be reduced by the same number or multiplied by the same number. Notice how 1 times 2 gives you 2, and 2 times 24 gives you 24. So you can also say, yes, they are equivalent fractions. If you go back and reduce everything, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 24 divided by 2 is 12, that's also 1 12th, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 48 divided by 4 is 12, that's 1 12th, 6 divided by 6 and 72 divided by 6, 1 12th. All those reduced to 1 12th, so they're all equivalent fractions. In order for it to work, it has to be all of them, okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the last thing in our notes, and it's called cross products. And it says, in the proportion A over B is equal to C over D, the products A times D, cross multiply, and B times C are called cross products. When the cross products are equal, it, they are going to be, it's going to be considered a proportion. Okay? Let's go ahead and take time now to pause the video and write down the pink box and let's underline in pink. And then I'm going to show you how to use cross products to figure out if something is proportional or not. Okay, so this one says you swim your first lap, your first four laps, so four laps, in 2.4 minutes. What I'm going to essentially do here is write this as a rate, okay? Um, the other one says you complete 16 laps, so 16 laps in 12 minutes. Notice I set the rates up exactly the same, laps over minutes. It says, is the number of laps proportional to your time? So one thing we've already learned is how to figure out if something is proportional based on if they're an equivalent fraction. You can also try something, this thing that's called cross products, which is just what you wrote down. You're essentially just going to multiply cross products or multiply diagonals. So 4 times 12 and 2.4 times 16. I know 4 times 12 is 48, and then 2.4 times 16 is 38.4, okay? So these are not the same, which, meaning, which means this example is not proportional, okay? So it's very, very simple. Just you're setting up a, you're basically setting up two rates, which is like setting up a proportion, cross multiplying, and if you do not get the same answer whenever you cross multiply, you are not going to um, say it's proportional. If you do get the same answer, it will be proportional. Okay? So here's your chance to try it. You're going to go ahead and pause the video now, read it, set up your two rates, and cross multiply to see if, it, if it's proportional. All right, here we go. So I'm going to read the first 20 pages of a book, pages in 25 minutes. And then I read 36 pages in 45 minutes. Again, notice how I set up the rates the same. 20 pages, 25 minutes. 36 pages, 45 minutes. Pages over minutes. I'm going to see if it's proportional by cross-multiplying. So I'm going to do 20 times 45 and 25 times 36. Here we go. I know 20 times 45, I think, is 900. Yep. And then 25 times 36 is also 900. Okay? These are equal. So because they're equal, yes, this is a proportional amount of time. How did you do?
So that's going to conclude our video. Basically, the three things we talked about is how to figure out if something is proportional. You know if something is proportional if that they can be um, simplified to be equivalent fraction. You know if something is proportional if you can multiply by the same number and you still get the correct out. And you know you can also use cross products to tell if something is proportional. I would maybe start using cross products the most because that's going to be able to help you and it's going to work every single time. Okay, and it might be the easiest way for some of y'all as well. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Next time.